My name is Jerry Hartfield. I run a video production company here in Anaheim, California. Um, we focus mainly on reality television shows. If you've ever seen the show Tornado Trackers, it's one of ours. Uh, a tape arrived in the mail. It was a, a pilot episode of a new reality series called Grave Encounters. And it was by a young producer named uh, Lance Preston. The idea was that uh, him and his group of paranormal investigators would investigate uh, ghost sightings and hauntings and uh, things of this nature. And this was, you know, years before all the other ghost hunting shows that are out there now. Um, I mean, I really felt he was ahead of his time. My name is Lance Preston. When I was a boy, my family moved into a house that I soon discovered was haunted. The things I encountered have stayed with me forever. Ever since then, I have been obsessed with trying to capture proof that these things were real. Come along with me and my team of skilled paranormal investigators as we dare to venture into some of the most haunted locations known to man, spending the night and capturing everything on camera. If you're ready, it's time to have some grave encounters. And everything was, you know, going really smoothly. I mean, the, uh, the edits that were coming back looked great. We were, uh, we were very excited. Uh, we really had something, you know? <clears throat> um, and then, of course, they, uh, they got to episode six. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah. I want to be very clear about this. What you're about to see is not a movie, OK? This has been assembled from some 76 plus hours of raw mini DV source footage. It was shot for Lance's show. Not a frame of this has been doctored. It hasn't been manipulated in any way. This is just raw footage. It's been edited strictly for time. Mark. Hello, hello, hello. testing, okay. testing. Good, good. Uh, we'll Lance right. Preston. Keep a, a good portion of this in the back the whole time. I'm gonna move a little bit, but. Are you ready, Lance? I'm ready. You're still in the shot. I can get, I, I want to get you clean. One step back. Perfect. Good. Welcome. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Grave Encounters. I'm your host, Lance Preston, as always, and tonight I'm very excited to take you inside one of the most terrifying locations I've ever seen. Behind me sits the Collingwood Psychiatric Hospital. It's one of six buildings spread over 80 acres of land just outside You're gonna have the to Ryerson through. Valley. You're going to have to cut. There's an idiot driving through the we're going to pick it up from there. I'm not going to do that beginning part again. Now, between the years 1895 and 1960, it played home to more than 80,000 of Maryland's most mentally ill and disturbed individuals. After its closure in 1963, reports of ghostly apparitions, objects moving on their own, and sometimes even the lunatic laughter of the patients condemned to roam these halls. Tonight, my crew and I will be performing an eight hour lockdown, trapped inside during the peak hours of dead time. Using the most sophisticated in ghost hunting equipment, we will be in search of what's become known as the ghost of the Collingwood Psychiatric Hospital. Cut. Nice. Yeah? Morgan. Hi. Morgan Turner, hi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, whoop. Right. Perfect. Thanks for coming out, man. I, know, I appreciate right. you making the drive. Um, I know I, it's a ways. That's okay. I'm, I'm really happy to do it. It's, um, yeah. Is this really going to be on TV? Yeah. yeah. That's what we hope. The, not this part. I'm just shooting this. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. She shoots everything. <laughs> I'm here with Morgan Turner, local town historian. Morgan is here today to shed some light on the Institute's dark past. Morgan, can you tell us when the Institute was first built? Well, uh, the history of Collingwood is fairly typical of similar hospitals of the era. It was built in 1893. Um, to address the sort of growing overcrowding problem at the state hospital in Danvers County. Mental illness, of course, at the time was not, not very well understood and uh, treatments were still in their infancy. Psychiatric hospitals like this were seen as sort of a, a dumping ground for embarrassing family members rather than a place that they could go to actually get help. Right. Conditions were pretty abysmal. Uh, people had to sleep on the floor, uh, sometimes without blankets or even clothes. It was really not a fun place to, to be stuck in. Could you tell us about uh, Arthur Friedkin? His story is probably the most infamous about this hospital. Sure. Uh, 
I figured that you were going to ask me that. Uh, Friedkin was a Harvard-trained neurologist mm -hmm. who was head physician here from 1937 to 1948. Right. Uh, he had gained some notoriety because of his work in experimental brain surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a, a major advocate of the lobotomy. Under Friedkin's supervision, there were about 140 lobotomies. On August 15th, 1948, six patients broke out of their rooms and stabbed Friedkin in his office. His body was found the next morning by a nurse. Unfortunately, um, this uh, event was completely overshadowed by the death of Babe Ruth, the famous baseball player. Wow. It's a crazy story. So, Morgan, in your honest opinion, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But um, if they do exist, well, this would be a good place to go looking for them. <laughs> the traffic is a bitch today, so... It didn't take us too long. It was about a six-hour drive, something like that. Oh, oh. oh death God. awaits. Yeah. I guess High we'll find kids. out. That is so lame. Uh, this will take me a bit, this old ancient lock here. I don't even think we should use this. It's too looks pretty cheesy, dude. It yeah, looks With like slow that. motion, music behind it, everything's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, here we go. Okay, come on in. Oh my god. So this oh, is the main yeah. entrance to the building here. Nice. Yes. Holy. Oh, man. Yeah, and if you were a awesome. family member, you'd check into reception over there. Oh, yeah. This is creepy this is as so shit. Insane. Are you getting all this? Get everything. A I want big camera shots of all of this. I plan to. I plan to. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, uh, smoking, huh? Can you take that outside? Just don't even bother it inside, please. Oh, Fire okay. eggs. I'm here with Kenny Sandoval, resident caretaker for the past eight years. Kenny, would you say that this place is haunted? Well, uh, I've never done this before, so should I talk to you or to the camera? Yeah, don't, this isn't... Well, um, I don't know if I, uh, if I believe in ghosts or spirits or nothing like that, but uh, in my time here, I've seen some pretty weird stuff, you know, especially working late at night, you hear all these old pipes and, and the building sort of makes noises, and it's, it's really hard to put your finger on it, but uh, I get the sense that I'm not alone. Let's go check it out. Uh-huh. Come on with me. Okay. Uh, it's like these hallways go on forever. Yep. It's hard to believe this place used to house thousands of insane people. There were thousands. I can't believe how dark it is and it's still daytime. Yeah, so what is the scared situation? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? How we lit this up here? Oh, uh, there's a few newer lines you can plug into. I'll show you where those are. But hey, guys, if you think it's dark now, wait till tonight, because none of these lights work. It'll get very dark. So you guys see this window here? Yeah. Lock it up real good at night. Come back in the morning. Sometimes this thing's wide open. What? <laughs> yeah, I can't figure it out. It's like uh, something's trying to get out or something. It's a definite paranormal hotspot. Right here's good. Perfect. How's it supposed to help people to stuff them in these tiny rooms? Oh, wow. Oh my this God. is officially fucked. Is this real? Yeah, this is totally real. The guy who lived here was in here for quite a few years, and this is what he did. He spent his time writing on the wall. So this was an actual patient that wrote An that? actual patient was in here. Really? Uh, I'm not sure whether he was right to the end, but uh, he was here for a long time. Very creepy. Whoa. What the fuck? Kenny. This is uh, great. Uh, oh, man, the acoustics are shit in here. Sorry? Supposedly a patient, a young girl, killed herself in here. What? What? Right here? A patient killed herself right here? Yeah, slit her wrists in this tub. Oh, my God, that's so sad. People say they've heard the sound of rustling water coming out of this room, but uh, I've never heard anything like that. Where are we going next, man? Oh, we're gonna go down in the service tunnels. Oh, I've been waiting to see those. Psst. You all right? Oh, Penny, that's exactly Super what I was dark. looking for. These service tunnels connect all the buildings. There's about a, a quarter mile of them. The it's like a, a maze down here. You could easily get lost. Well, one day, I was down here walking over to the east wing. 
and the air got real cold. It was so still, and it felt like someone was watching me. It's a very eerie feeling. <gasps> what, what, what? It's just my shadow. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> this is Gary Crawford, Crawford Contracting. He was hired here quite some time ago to do some work. Is that right? Back in 93, yeah. The, the, the state was going to try and do some renovations here, but eventually they shit canned the idea. And yeah. shit, oh, shit, sorry. You, you want me not to speak? Yeah, that'd be better. Anyway, uh, me and my guys uh, came in here for about two weeks. And you experienced some supernatural phenomena? Uh, well, we were off the start. Some of the guys were hearing what they thought were weird noises, and, uh, okay. and there were some... Uh, Tools disappearing overnight. I thought it was looters, uh, but I never, I never saw anybody, so. There was an accident. Yeah, uh, one of my guys on a ladder. In fact, he was pulling some old wood just, just over there. And he swears that, that, that something pushed him off the ladder. He took a hard fall, banged up his knee, and, uh, and he quit. Well, that doesn't sound like a, a residual haunting. It sounds like an intelligent haunting. A residual haunting is thought to be like an echo from the past, continuing to loop over and over again. An intelligent haunting is actually a spirit that interacts and has intention. There are many reports of people having been pushed, scratched, and even thrown. It's rare, but it does happen. So you both have spent a lot of time out here? Uh, yeah. Well, in high school, a bunch of the kids used to come down here just to well, you know, hang out. And you saw something here? Yes, uh, we were actually right here, right here, uh, making out or, or whatever, and uh, I looked up and I, I swear to God, I, I swear to God that I saw someone right at the end of the hall there. He was wearing, um, it was like a white... Like a hospital gown? Yeah, like a white hospital gown, and uh, he had a shaved head, yeah. Full spectral apparition. Why don't we uh, why don't we grab an interview with Garner real quick? We can fill in some blanks, it doesn't really matter, right? Excuse me! Excuse me, sir! Excuse me! Uh I I'm shooting a TV show here. I was just wondering if you want to do a quick interview with us. I'm standing here with the resident gardener, Javier Ortega. Javier, have you ever noticed anything strange around the building? No, not really. What do you mean? Well, have you heard any weird noises or seen any ghostly activity? I just started working here. Just started working, that's great. TC, can you just cut for a second? Okay, how about you make something up for the camera? Pretend you saw something. Just... I gotta get God to work. Okay, okay, real quick. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 just wait. Do we have any of the, the petty gas left? Yeah. I'm sure. Hey, Javier, uh, that was 20 bucks, Sam. I'm standing here with the resident gardener, Javier Ortega. Javier, have you ever seen anything strange in the past 10 years of working here? Yeah, I saw a ghost over here. It was a really scary. A ghost on the exterior of the building. Unbelievable. This is really a paranormal hotspot unlike anything we have ever shot at before. On three, two, one. Because of this location's massive size and scope, I've called in psychic medium Houston Gray to assist in the investigation. Houston, are you sensing anything? Oh, wow, wow. Wow, there's such, such, such an incredible energy here. It's, it's like hundreds of voices all talking at once. It's, the sound is deafening. There's something else. It's... Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 there's something else here. It's, it's like a dark spirit. It might even possibly be a demon. And we have got to be extremely cautious tonight, Lance. I mean, we do not want to be messing with something like this. At all. Oh. This is it. Houston, are you feeling anything? Yeah. I'm sensing a deep well of sadness in here. Profound sadness, I... I see a patient, a female patient, a, a girl. There's water, red, 
red water. Blood, blood. She died right in here. She, she slit her wrists in the bathtub. The caretaker said a girl killed herself right here. Houston, that's incredible. Her spirit is still with us. Cut it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay, was that too much? No. Come on. No. No, guys. no, that was great. That sounded really good. Awesome. So Lance, how do you feel about show six? Well, feeling good. It's a good location. Do you think we're actually going to see some ghosts this time? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hundreds of them, I'm sure. Wow, maybe you try to sound a little less skeptical. I mean, it would be great, but if we don't, then, you know, whatever. We just want to make sure we can get some good scares, so. Oh. Oh, oh hey, TC. Uh, you want to get a nice time-lapse shot? One sec, one sec. <laughs> Yo, the ground's slippery. Window cam, good to go. Yeah! <laughs> okay, this is creepy as shit. I am getting out of here. All right, we're about to check in with our resident Grave Encounters tech wizard, Matt. Matt, why don't you walk us through some of what you're doing here? I've set up 10 static cameras at all the hot spots for ghost activity. So they record constantly to tape. They're also recording to a backup hard drive. And everything gets wirelessly transmitted back to my computer. So I'll know what's happening all the time. Real quick, Matt, why don't you uh, walk us through what some of the equipment is for? This is an EMF meter. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it records electrostatic and electromagnetic fields in the air. So the basic idea is that man-made or human EMF fields will remain stable, while fields caused by paranormal activity will produce spikes in the reading. Infrared thermometer, OK? So it's the same idea as the EMF, only it's used to detect drops in air temperature. Ghosts are believed to cause dramatic drop-offs in air temperature, known in the paranormal community as cold spots. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> This is a simple analog audio recorder. All right. Uh, it's used to capture EVPs. Okay. Oh, Matt, real quick, uh, for the audience at home, uh, explain to us what an EVP EVPs, is. EVPs, electronic voice phenomena. This thing will actually pick up sounds that the human ear cannot detect. So when we play it back, if we hear something, we'll know that something out there is trying to communicate with us. OK, this is my favorite. This is a Geiger count. You just turn this on right here, and you're good to go. I mean, look at this. Freaking badass. That's badass. <laughs> Listen, I can guarantee you that if there is anything paranormal, anything freaky happening in this joint, we're going to catch it. All right, folks, we are about to initiate lockdown. My friend Kenny here, the building's caretaker, will be doing us the honors of sealing us inside. Kenny, thanks very much, man. All we'll right. see you at 6 a.m. Okay, 6 a.m. sharp. Good luck. Great. Put on the night vision. Yep.
Yeah. See this shit. I think you can have a view for this. I'm telling you. Demon. <laughs> Demon time. Right, I can't wait to see you at the yeah, morning. Job, can you? I love you, man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, we, um, we got to spend the night thanks. with these two freaks. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on with Kenny. Did you, did you lock the door? What do you mean? It's great for the show, man. Don't worry about it. What if I have to get more equipment out the van? All right, this is the real deal, folks. This is by far the biggest location we have ever investigated and the most dangerous. Now, I want to put emphasis on the fact that this facility was built very much like a prison. All the windows are barred. We literally could not get out of here if we wanted to. We are trapped inside until Kenny the caretaker comes to get us in the morning. We will be working in pitch dark, capturing everything on three night vision capable cameras, along with the static cams that Matt set up for us on our hotspots. All right, everyone, if you're ready, it's time to have some grave encounters. Okay, we are now roaming the vast darkness of the hallways of the Institute. Hallways that have been abandoned for more than 50 years. We're in search of spirits that were unsettled in life and possibly unsettled in the afterlife. I can't reach down this way. It's cold. It's cold this way. This is the hallway where the apparition of the patient with the shaved head was seen floating down at the end of the hallway. Down there. Sasha, let's do that EVP. Is there somebody with us? Are you a patient here? Did you used to live in the hospital? Lay back. Is there somebody with us? Are you a patient here? Did you used to live in the hospital? There's nothing. You know All right, one sec. I feel like it distorted right. Spirit, you have nothing to fear from us. If you are here, show yourself. I think as it's getting colder as we go on, it's, it's drawing us this way. It wants us to go this way. If there's a spirit here with us, we want you to give us a sign. Open the window, even just a nudge. I am going to use this still camera to try to capture paranormal anomalies. They're not usually seen by the human eye. It's better known as spirit photography. One more. We're gonna have to wait for the pictures to be developed. If there is a ghost behind me, we won't know until later. Are you the one who wrote on these walls? What were you trying to communicate? Why don't you try and communicate with me now? If the patient who killed herself in this room, in this very tub, is here now. Make yourself known. I am really creeped out in here. <clears throat> All right, I got camera two and four up. Temperature readings are nominal. Guys, why do I have to be the one that sits here by myself? Houston, do you feel anything? a very, very negative, dark energy down here. Uh, and not just a single energy, a lot of energy. Many, many spirits. If there are any spirits down here, please show yourself. Make a noise for us. As we've said before, it seems like these tunnels just go on forever. Things in here, too. Oh, did you hear that? I heard that, too. Shh, shh, shh. What? 
Okay. We just heard something. Okay. Don't for real. What the fuck was that? I know. Come here. Come here. Go over this way. You guys follow me. Shh. Where the hell is it? Where's it coming from? It's in this door. It's just down over here. Fuck me. So you want to open this? You can swing the camera around and get in? Yeah. Not really, but... Fuck. God damn it. I want to use my foot. It's about as haunted it's as a sock drawer. <laughs> it really scary. I don't really know what they look like, Okay, so I guess not sitting in a graveyard, a plain guy who's murdered yeah. his wife. You know where it is. Yeah, I wanted to see the content. No, no, it's true, it's a kid. I just so gotta have to take a picture. Okay, bye. It's just weird noise. It's taking all the pictures fine. It goes, eh, eh, eh. Could this be residual ectoplasmic material discovered first by the Grave Encounters team? Okay, I think we should, uh, I think we should just do one more walkthrough upstairs. Give me some B camera shots down the hallways, get some of that, that floaty hallway stuff. You know, shit. like we did at the Plainview Mansion. Already shit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Stuff we can cut into. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Ooh. Checkers of the dead. King me. What the fuck? <sighs> Glory hole. Kitchen of the dead. I said cook my dinner, bitch. What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's about as creepy as it gets. How the fuck we miss this? Lance, you are going to love me. Oh, shit. How did I guess? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, my dear. Come on. Well, if she's crying, put her on the phone. Hi, pumpkin. So what's this mummy tell me? You're afraid of monsters in the bed? Didn't we have this conversation? Monsters aren't real, baby. They aren't real. And even if they were real, they wouldn't want to come to our house because you know daddy will take care of them for you. Tell mommy I gave you permission to lay in bed with her tonight because daddy won't be home till morning. We'll go off for pizza tomorrow, okay? Daddy will be home soon. Bye-bye. Why I even put myself through this? God damn, it's cold in here. What the fuck was that? Guys, cut the shit! I'm not fucking playing! Ain't the fucking time to do this shit. What the fuck? Hey, where are you guys? Maybe it was a wind or something. That's solid, all right? Nothing short of tornado is going to move that door. How much do you think that weighs? Okay, TC, how did it move? Was it like... Whatever it was, it scared the crap out of me, all right? I have to change my shorts like, when I'm done here. Can you explain here. it? I... I was told you, man. I was taping. I, tur I, I turned around like this. The thing just closed. And I, I thought it was you guys at first, right? You were taping it? You taped? Do you I have told it you tape? that in the first place. If you guys weren't so busy, like... You, you freaking have it oh, on You got it on tape? Check that out. Oh, 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 o
man. Okay, that's freaky. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I accept your apology. I accept your apology. I cannot believe that you wow. saw that. The incredible footage you saw just moments ago was captured by cameraman TC. This door directly behind me slammed on its own. Now there's no drafts in the room. There's no windows that could have caused it to slam on its own. We are now going to attempt to make contact. <clears throat> Is there someone here with us? Please make a noise. Tap on something. Feel free to slam the door like you did on TC just moments ago. Feel free to slam it as hard as you like. So go ahead, slam it. Right now, please give us a sign. Spirit, I invoke you to make an appearance. Please, you, Take you, 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 you. Would, if there is anyone here, would you please give us a suck? Fuck. Fuck. I thought we were actually gonna have something here. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Christ! That was really fucking scary, guys. That came from right, right here. What the fuck is that? It's up there. Matt? Hey, Matt, is there anybody up on four? Anybody up on any floor above us? No, what the hell's going on? It's obviously somebody's fucking around with us. They know we're shooting here. Why are we going up here, Matt? Because yeah, this is where the sound came from. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? Is there anybody up here? If someone's here, why are they fucking with us? Listen, if there's anybody here trying to fuck with us, it's not funny. All right, we'll call the police. We have a right to be here. We have a permit, and you don't. Okay, can you lower your fucking voice? You, you guys, you talk guys talk. are quiet. What if this is something real? I'm gonna do EVP. What's your name? What do you want? Are you in the room with us? Where are you? Come on, Sash, play it back. What's your name? What do you want? Are you in the room with us? Where are you? What is that? What is that? What is that? Holy what shit! Oh what the fuck was that? What the fuck did you, was that? Did you, did you get that? Did you see that? No way, man. No way. I got it on tape. Sash. Okay, just, right, something right, just go. fucking touched me. Something oh. just fucking breathed on me. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here right now. I can't even deal with this. Stop, would you? Just wait a second. Wait for what? Because look, we have been shooting this show for what, five episodes? We have never seen anything like that before. I don't even get her right now. I just need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, you're fine, Houston. You take her down there and you come right back, okay? Okay, I, I think I'll stay down there. No, no, no. I need another face on camera. And, and Lance, I am really freaked out. I don't think I can do this. I Be a fucking professional, okay. would you? All right, stay in character. We are on to something here, all right? Don't do this to me. Oh, come back. Come on, with that. Wait, wait, No, 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 no. Oh, come TC, on, dude. you're with me, man. Come on. Yeah, are you kidding me? Did this you see that shit? Yeah, did we get that kind of thing again, man? Why you're you fucking making millions. I can't fucking do this. Just moments ago in this very hallway, we captured undeniable proof of the paranormal. Sasha was terrified to the bone because a ghost actually manipulated her hair. Uh... We're gonna try to attempt to make contact now. Oh, to the spirit who dwells in this hallway, 
We implore you to show us a sign. Manifest yourself. Please. If you're still with us, uh, give us a sign. Make a noise or manipulate my hair. You see it? No, I don't. I put my light on. No, nothing. Don't even think of asking him to do the same for me. Well, just you don't have any. We're a team. Hair. I think it's gone. Yeah, you know, I think honestly, I think it had its fun. It played its little prank and it took off. Maybe that's all they do. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Come on. There's some fucking in here. Do something. You did it before. Do it again. Are you fucking scared? Before I forget. At last, it's gone. It's left us. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing that it's toying with us. Right. That it's a more mature shit. Give it a rest. Can we go home now? Lance, there are people who chase Bigfoot, look for Loch Ness their whole lives. Great. TC, what time is it? It's 4.40. So let's go home, man. When did that guy say he was coming again? Okay, you guys, I think we have enough footage. Why don't we just pack up everything and We'll get out of here. Okay, so okay. we are. We are going back up. We're know? going home. Yeah, can we pack everything up? Yes. I think it's just the right up ahead. Right. Are you sure? I'm not going yeah. through there. Yeah, this is it. This is it. I don't think so. This is just the way, right? Oh, the look at the park. It's a dead end. Guys. It's not, it's, not, it's not the right way. Come on. No, it's not a come on, come on, come on. TC, roll on this, man. Roll on what? Us being lost? No, we're not we're lost. We are lost. No, we're not lost. We came this way. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt, you, uh, are you at the station? Matt, we're lost in here, man. We need, uh, we need some info. How the fuck is the answer? No, no. I'm not going that way, TC. Why not? Because I'm going back over this here. Yep. Yeah, we, if we stay in the one direction, then we're gonna get there, okay? okay it's so what? North? In there, and around the corner is where that bathtub was. You know where the girl killed herself. Hey, so we're, we've, we've been this way before. Way. Yeah. We've been this way before, TC. I'm not trying to fight with you. Just explain to me when we saw this tub again, because this is not the same fucking tub. I know it's not. That's TC, that's come on, get up, man. You said six o'clock? Are you gonna sleep there? Is Kenny coming at six o'clock? I'm not waiting. Yeah, he's coming. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for you, man. I'm not waiting. Oh, holy God. Yes. Where the hell were you guys? You don't hear me calling you on the walkie? Yeah, you know what? Two tin been cans with a fucking string in it would have been better. We got lost. Wrong, something got wrong with your walkie talk. No, I was oh calling God. you. Yeah, well, man, you, get you, didn't, you didn't hear me on the radio? No, no I didn't hear shit. You didn't hear me? No. This is why you don't lock the door, Lance. Machine, by the way. Lance! Case in point, why you don't lock the fucking door. Holy shit. What, what did you see? Which one is it? That's fucked the hair. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yours, huh? That is fucked. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump this quick on the no, computer. No, 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 Matt, we don't have time for that. Grab all the static cams, get it all together. You know what, guys, let's, let's all get up and start packing this stuff up, get it ready for when Kenny comes. Can somebody help me, please? It's no, gonna, no, 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 it'll no. be much I need everybody down here, Matt. I'm sorry, man. It's gonna cut the, sorry, I know. You, get, you got your radio? Yeah, I got it right here. Sure, it works? <laughs> Hope so. Can you hear yeah. that? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? All right, man. Don't, don't fucking leave without me.
Aren't you there, man? Hey, guys, I got something up here. Hello? Hey, Lance? Hello? Guys, quit fucking around. It is now approaching morning. We haven't seen any activity in well over an hour. For grave encounters, I'm Lance Preston. One more time? No, we don't. One, have... one more time. <sighs> For grave encounters, I'm Lance Preston. That's all I got. Yeah, Fuck it, yeah, I, I hate to do this I, anymore. It doesn't yeah, really matter, right. guys. You know why? What? Because we could always pick this up tomorrow. There'll be sunlight. We'll get better exposure. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a good so, idea. Where's Matt anyway? What the fuck is taking yeah. him so long? Matt? Matt, are you there? Lance. Matt. Lance. The radios weren't working before. Guys. I know this sounds really stupid, but and I'm the last person that wants to go walking through these halls again, but. It's pitch black, and Matt could have fallen and hurt himself, for real. She's right, he could be hurt. You guys, we have to go look for him. Okay. All right, this is ridiculous, all right? Let's, let's go fucking look for him. TC, grab your camera. Sash, grab your camera. For what? Yeah, Listen, if we're gonna go and do this, then we might as well film everything. Thanks for your help, man. Hey, it's no fun hanging out here, I can tell you. By myself? Jesus Christ. Matt? Matt! 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 Matt, where are you? Where the Matt? fuck are you? Matt. What the fuck? Oh shit. Matt? Hey, Matt! Why is this shit everywhere? Matt! Fuck! Matt! 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 Fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right. He Easy. wouldn't just leave equipment like no, this. No, he man. wouldn't. It looks like he was just packing it up anyway. He's gotta be, he's gotta be down one of these ways. TC, you go that way, Sash and I'll go this way. Why would we do that? That is a terrible Why? idea. He's gotta be here. He wouldn't just leave Why would we split right? up? That's Sash, a terrible- Sash, come with me. TC, just check that way, okay? Matt. Matt, you down here? This looks like the living room after a fight with my girl. Matt, where are you, man? I want to go home. This is enough. You're freaking us out now. Look for cigarette butts. Come on, Matt. This is stupid, dude. I don't understand this guy. Matt, come on, dude. You gonna get me a shit with my girl. It's late. Fuck, man. You better be dead or dying, bro. Matt! I ain't even playing with you right now. Where the fuck you at? Where the fuck? Matt? Me, man. I was looking for fucking Matt. I, I was looking downstairs, so the fucking man pushed me almost. I almost broke my fucking neck, dude. Oh my god. 
I looked back, there was nothing there. These things have been messing with us, all right? All night. They're getting fucking violent. Call him. Call Kenny. Oh, what are you waiting okay, for? Okay, okay. No, okay, just call Jesus, him. Jesus, I'll call him. Thank Kenny, you. All right? Jesus Christ, this is fucking stupid. Are you, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> fucking piece of shit! What next? All right, I can't get a signal. Well, you, oh, oh, God. Let me try. Let me try. Phones, guys. Weird. Perfect. Fucking perfect! What the hell are you doing, TC? What does it look like I'm doing? Come here and fucking help. You can't break down the door, TC. Just watch. No, we're gonna cause damage to the property. We're gonna be liable for it, all right? Just be patient. Wait, the guy's fucking coming. TC, hey, come on, man. What the fuck? That's coming out of your rate. Oh, it doesn't look like I give a fuck about no, the it fucking doesn't. rate. The fucking what are you bothering me for? I'm tired of this shit. I want to go home. I want to go back to the fucking hotel and get some fucking sleep. Hey, you know what? Your boy there's a no-show, OK? What, is he an hour late? So just put the fucking camera. You fucking help me. Christ, I'll pay fine. for the damage. Right. Help me, for oh, fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Help me. Hang on. All right. Do you, you want my help? No, Houston, we're fine with you there. Fuck, oh, goddammit. On three, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Fuck me. Ugh. Are you even pushing? Yeah, I'm pushing. One, two, three! Fucking lobby, dude. Yeah. We came in this way, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. This is the this is the lobby. Yeah. This can't be right. This is impossible. This is the way we this is where we put our shit, right? Yeah. This is the way we this is how we brought the stuff in. This doesn't make sense, but I don't understand this shit. This doesn't make any sense. This is the way we came in. I, it, it's just another hallway. It doesn't, I don't know. We must have gotten turned around in here. We must be on the other side of the building or something. Lance? Lance? So are those the same doors? I'm getting sick of this, guys. Oh, oh yes. Hey, you want anything? Houston, take that. Take that, please. Right. Hey, hey, watch your leg, man. Watch your leg. Give me a fucking hand. You just sitting there watching this nothing fucking sense. All right, all right, all right. All right. What the fuck is wrong with you? Three, one, two, three. Just an exit down to the, like this way to the emergency. Houston, exit. shut the fuck up. Don't Houston, shut down. the fuck up. This. See? Okay, so now we'll get out. This is the man's fucking job. Come on, come on. Got it? Come on. Come on. Careful. Give me a fucking second. Fuck. Hey, watch oh, you, watch I'm yourself. fucking trapped in here, man. Fuck. No, we're not. Hey, let's get a tool. We can try to pry the bars yeah, off. Yeah, there's a tool out. Well, I got a fucking tool belt. Oh, shit, I forgot. It's in the van outside. Oh, fuck. The door, the, you know how we're locked out? We got nothing? Fucking brilliant idea. All right, obviously not. All the fucking windows have bars on. Yeah, Wait, they do. No, no, the, the, the one upstairs. That one didn't have any bars on it, right? We just gotta oh, find the room. Window. It's a sheer drop, 80 fucking feet. Come on. Oh, this is so what time fuck. is it? What time is it, Sash? 8.34. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fuck. I told you at that fucking other fucking gig at 8.34. Holy shit. I have an audition tomorrow. No one cares about you and your queer oh, wait, inside wait, the, wait, the, the wait, faggot wait, studio wait, shit. Wait, guys, oh, my work's not guys, guys let me think for a second. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. This is fucked up. I, I checked the sunrise times last night. What's your fucking point? Should have been bright by 7.45. It's still night out. The sun is still not up. It didn't make any sense. It's not fucking funny, man. Shut 
Huh? This don't make no sense. Somebody get out of this fucking building, please! Somebody help us! Okay, okay yeah, listen, listen. Uh, let's just try and be rational here, okay? This is an old building, right? It's an old building, so there's all sorts of energy fields, things, and stuff going on. There could be an electric anomaly that has actually moved our clocks faster or something, so that, you know, it's actually not really 8.30, but it's only 6.30. That would explain why it's still dark out and why, you know, Kenny hasn't shown up. Electrical it's, anomaly. It's fucking retarded! Why aren't you coming? If you're gonna fucking come up with an idea, come with something rational. This is one of your fucking auditions for some science fiction movie. There's nothing else that's rational here, okay? It's as rational as anything else. Check my cell phone, and uh, it says the time's 1:12. It's 1:12 uh, p.m. I don't, I don't think that's right, but I, I, I guess it can't be right. I don't know. Uh, everyone's very tired, so they're just, uh, they're taking a nap. They're taking a break. We're gonna just wait until Kenny shows up. I don't know where the hell he's gonna meet us. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I haven't slept in like 20 hours. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just gonna set my alarm for an hour and uh, I'll take a nap. What, did you, what the hell are you? What the hell are you doing? Okay. Oh, God. What the hell happened? Oh my God! All right, uh, someone or something just broke our lights. So we're in the pitch dark. All we have is our flashlights and our camera lights. Which you're wasting right now. I just checked my cell phone and it says it's 8 p.m. So we slept for seven hours. Uh, TC went to get a sandwich, and uh, you gotta see this. Oh. Lance, it stinks. Close that shit. Hey, what do you close the close the fucking thing, man? Oh, all the food is like that, but we still have lots of bottled water, so I don't know. We should we should be okay. Why don't we, why don't we try going down to the tunnels? Okay, Kenny said the tunnels connect all the buildings together, then maybe we can find a way out through one of the other buildings. Are you looking to uh, see the Great Wall of China? I'm not going from the goddamn tunnels. If our lights go out, we're fucked. Hey, listen, remember when you told me to do the time lapse outside? Mm -hmm. I saw a fire escape. Now, if we can get on the roof, we can probably climb down that and get the fuck out. Well, what's the verdict? Are we staying here? Look, I don't we... care what we do. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. I don't want to be okay. here anymore. Okay, Every, so everybody, we're going to do this. Everybody wants to do this. With the roof. All right. Yeah. Fine. Let's pack up all the gear and let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Give me some light, guys. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hey, easy. Do we go that? Which way? Lance. No, 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 no. no. TC, you knew where we were going. You said. I didn't say anything. Don't put it on me. No, you said you know where the ladder was. What, what no, I said this? there like, was a ladder. I didn't. Okay, I didn't tell you where. Okay, but is it this I... end? It doesn't matter. What's it over it's here? A... I saw it from the outside. Okay. God damn it, man! Jim... I can't do with these guys. Look. The fuck is that? Hello. Oh, fuck. Someone up here? Just keep, just keep... TC, is this it? 
Don't ask me questions. Is the staircase or not? Okay, okay. He listens. Just keep the light on in front of me. Move, move, move. Get the fuck out of my way. Get the fuck out of my way. So fuck you guys. Yes! Yes! Yeah. No fucking way. Fuck, take this, take this. That can't be right. It's fucking solid. Does it look new? Does it look like it's been there for a while? This doesn't make any sense. Four flights of stairs, right? Yeah. That puts us on the fourth floor. We came from this way, and we've got it. We've got at least a year, right? Yeah. Are you guessing? Is there one of these? Well, I don't know. Do you see? Is there one of these? What? 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 Shh. One of these. You are here? Yeah, it says first. Yeah, but we know we went up yeah, four stairs. It's not changed. This is not open. This has not been changed. This says we're you on the first to, but you see, floor. You see, what? I'm not sure. But keep in mind, though. Initially, this was where we came in, right? No, no but. Do you see how you're filming this? Yeah, I'm getting this. That's fucked up. God damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You should just stay up. What? 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 Whoa, whoa. The fuck is that? You hear that? You guys hear that? Holy shit, what is that? Oh, shit, oh, fucking stop. Matt? Where's Matt? 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 Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, man, stop this way! Matt? 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 you in here? He's not in here. He's not in here. Oh, that's his fucking move. <laughs> for another stairwell. And, uh, I don't know, we couldn't find one. This building's a fucking maze. It's like TC said, it, it's, it's like it just keeps changing all around us. We still haven't been able to find Matt. I don't even know if he's okay. Still, he's not seen that same shit we are. Sasha, we gotta take this down. Right here. This is unheard of. There's no way someone came in here and did that without us noticing. Dude, cut it. Yeah. Cut this. My place. Matt. That's what I gotta hurt him. Matt. Matt. Oh, oh, see there. There. I fucking hurt him. I told you guys. It's a lie. Matt, are you okay? Can you hear me? Tell us where you are. We'll come get you. Matt! Shit! 
Shit. He's not there anymore. We have uh, to find him. How are we gonna find him? We can't even find our way to the front door. Well, you sneak out be far. Those walkie-talkies are a piece of shit. Listen, how do we even know it's him? Matt? Sorry, 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 sorry. Fuck, I... Matt, we heard you, buddy. Where are you? Fuck. Matt? Sash, try all the frequencies. It doesn't have that much range. How far did you say you thought he was? I don't know how far. The specifications... Are... So okay, whatever... what did you guess? What, what like, I... two, three, four hundred? Three hundred... Two hundred yards to get a clear signal. Maybe three hundred... Let's just keep moving. ...before it starts crapping out, okay? Let's stay together. Come on. That's a dead end. Dead end. Matt? Hey, Matt. Jeez. Matt? Matt? Where the fuck are you? Let's check you out. Hey, Matt? 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 Wait, okay. Matt? Yeah? Listen, guys, this is fucking pointless, all right? If we were to find it, he would, the range of the mother walk. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! That was Matt! That was Matt! Matt! You see? We've been hiding in this room for a couple of hours. 
Houston's gone. I'm gonna try Matt on the radio, but get out of the public eye. Fuck is that? Look, we keep hearing crazy shit like that all around us. Fuck. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last. We're not alone in here. like this. stuff, okay? People are gonna want to see this. Matt and Houston are gone. We need to concentrate on getting out of here and finding them. And you just keep doing this whole sh shit. Okay, you guys just stay together, okay? I'm just... Don't worry about really? it. Disorder linked to childhood phobia. Jesus Christ. Just get him the fuck. Get him the okay. fuck off. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Let's get the fuck out of bitches' back. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Get him in here. Get him in here. Let's go. Come on. Put him down on the bed. Put him down there. You see anything? No, it's good. Hey, where you been? Where'd you get those clothes? <laughs> well, for God's sakes, talk to us! You guys, look at his wrist. <laughs> Matt, Matt. Stop oh, oh, oh. Matt, where'd you get this? Where'd you get all this shit from? Matt. Matt. What did they do to you? What did you see? <laughs> Nothing is bullshit. Look, I don't know where you've been, but you had, you'd probably know a way out of here. You gotta know a way out of here. <laughs> Of course, there's a way out. We can all leave as soon as we're better. What? What do you mean when we're better? 
What the fuck does that mean? But I, I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Progress is slow, but the patient is responding to treatment. This guy's out of his mind. He's like high or something. He's talking all kinds of things. Hey, see, shut up. He told me to shut up. He's fucking. Fuck. Please. Shh, shh, shh. Don't be sad. Everything's gonna be okay. He'll help you too. <laughs> Okay, TC, check that door. I already did. Just check it. I'm not fucking... If something's getting in here, man, just make sure there's nothing in here. We found Matt. He's all fucked up. Disappeared. So he
Open it. Open it. Open it. Where? Where? Okay. It's an elevator shaft. If we can get down to the tunnels, we can use them to get to one of the other buildings. We made it to the tunnels. Come on. I can't. I can't leave. I Come can't on, Sash, get out of there. Remember what Kenny said. They connect the buildings, all right? You should do this with me. I can't do this alone. Okay. 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 Stay close to me. Let's go this way. Should 
been right around here. What the fuck?
just woke up and... I don't know how long I was sleeping, but... There's the door. You gotta see it. Rest 